Weird weirdities. Use use your brain for heaven's sake. <laughs> I am about to shatter a long-standing myth about these of, about those of us with a with um, that uh, with a human brain. That uh, sounded odd, but I found living in the city, I encounter many people who seem not to have a brain at all. There is a long-standing myth that we humans use only 10% of our brain. And I heard that a lot when I was a kid. After becoming a born-again uh, child of God, I realized that this was not true. God never did the, uh, things only halfway. Truth is the uh, myth goes back to the uh, 19th century when experiments showed that uh, stimulation of small areas of the brain could have uh, very dramatic results. Actually, if you touch a tiny small part of the brain tissue, and you might be able to uh, induce the patient to extend a limb, or so the scientific extrapolation was de deduced as if a small present of uh, or percent of the brain could do so much, then obviously most of the brain was unused, a most unscientific test and deduction. The truth is, most of the brain mass is used for the process of thinking. Any small-brained creature can extend a limb or see what's across the room. However, it takes a big brain to handle the wiring needed for a profound and abstract thought. For example, I think, therefore, I am. Um, nowadays, we have the ability to watch brain activity through uh, positron emission tomograms, also known as PET scans. Yes, that's right. The PET scan shows the electrical firing among billions of brain cells. Not not over, not every cell is involved in thought or or nerve impulses, but there is no evidence that any gray matter that uh, is not being used. The brain has no unused parts, no equivalent of the appendix. So that should break the 10% myth. Thanks for stopping by, and be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single new program here on the Dennis Morrison channel. Good night.